welcome once again to the online tutorial for introduction to philosophy so today we'll be looking at again a Descartes first meditation and this is important a a, a a major part of epistemology metaphysics and uh, in, in your quest in understanding uh, philosophy also as a whole so René Descartes was a French mathematician scientist and one of the strongest philosopher in metaphysics okay so he was on the quest to find the indubitable knowledge and that is that knowledge that we can never doubt okay so he, he had this meditation where he propounded various theories uh, hypothesis that uh, he used to doubt knowledge and then at the end he came to a particular conclusion so um then it is cut uh, we have let, 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 let's look at four major uh doubts that uh, he used in uh, questioning knowledge okay so first off uh we have the sense deception hypothesis and yeah he said that our sense could be deceiving we could see something and it could be an illusion and this is actually true because you sometimes you say you saw someone yesterday but when you met that person the next day the person say i, I was not in school yesterday so our sense is capable of deceiving us. You might see something as yellow, but when you take a closer look, you discover that the color is actually red. So our sense perception could be what deceiving. So this is one of the ways he doubted uh, the uh, knowledge. Okay? So there's uh, the other one is the dream hypothesis and this year he said that how is it sure that he is not dreaming sitting close to the fire is also possible for him to sit close to the fire in his dream so whatever happens in life right as humans most of the actions we take they can also happen in a dream so he used this to doubt also saying that he could actually be dreaming you know we could actually be dreaming you listening to this audio you could actually be dreaming right so that was not enough to make a claim for knowledge or existence right now and the other one is the evil genius hypothesis and yeah he said that it could be that a powerful force let's say like a god right is actually making things look the way they are like if we say two plus two is four are we sure two plus two is four it could mean two plus two, two is another number but and if uh, a, a a god right is actually making two plus two look like four to us right so that is and he said that if we choose not to call, say it is God that is doing it because God is the all-powerful, is a kind God, then it could be an evil genius that is actually controlling us to actually see things the way we see it. Okay, so that is the third one. Now, the fourth one is the wax hypothesis the wax hypothesis now here he said that the mind is an immaterial substance and just like the wax that is the kind of make light possible the work uh, mind also make knowledge possible now he said that no matter how it try to actually doubt knowledge there's something is actually doing that is aware of and that is thinking you know all this hypothesis he brought earlier he was actually doing what actually thinking that's why we call it a meditation so 
for you to think you have you need a mind right so it is this mind that is using to actually doubt and bring about all these hypotheses so it came to a conclusion that uh, uh what to call cogito ego sum that is i think therefore i exist and this is because he recognized and he, he, he couldn't doubt the fact that he was actually thinking so he came to the conclusion that the mind exists and he think therefore that he exists so that is cogito ego sum okay so that is on the brief look into rene descartes now uh let's take a quick look into uh, the concept of a pre a priori and a posteriori now a priori are those knowledge that do not need an observation or a a a, a another look to ascertain the truth it needs and many uh, the an example is mathematical uh, solutions are a priori that is two plus two is four all logical and uh, truths are a priori all definitions are a priori all definitions are actually tautology like uh, biology is a study of human body right so it is a truth that biology deals with the study of the human body, human and animal body. Okay, so that is a priori. Now, statements like all cows are animals, right? So all cows are actually animals. That can't be doubted. So a priori are uh, those knowledge that do not need uh, verification before we ascertain their level of truth right now there is the other one which is a posteriori and this is knowledge that require verification before we can make judgments on them okay so that is a posteriori now for example you uh, someone can say the weather is cold right you don't just believe that if you do not go outside yourself and feel that the weather is actually cold so those are uh, a posterior with various concepts uh, various the uh, points under it various points under a posterior the fact there is that the a knowledge where you have to observe before making claims okay so that is that on uh rene descartes first meditation and a priori and a posteriori they are brief and you have to look read more on them but this is a brief look into uh, the concept thank you so much for listening once again God bless you.